With the introduction of Workflow 8.3, LazyFish introduced Enterprise Workflow Activities. This video is a brief overview of the BPM 201 Enterprise Workflow Activities class at the Empire 2012 LazyFish Institute Conference. The first set of activities are the PDF form activities, and we have three new activities to efficiently manage all of your PDF forms. The first activity is the Retrieve PDF Form Content. This allows you to retrieve the PDF fields on the form and use it as a workflow token. Once it's available as a workflow token, you, you can use it, for example, to rename the document, dynamically store the document, write the information on an email, or fill out the LazyFish fields. The second activity is the fill out PDF form. This allows you to retrieve any workflow tokens and fill out the PDF fields on your form. For example, if you have LazyFish fields and you want to fill out, for example, an application, uh, the fill out, fill out PDF form activities will allow you to do so. The verify PDF signatures activity will retrieve the signature certificate and allow you to see the signer, the signature count, the date, and whether or not the signature is trusted. Just to make it clear, workflow can only work, work with the PDF forms, and you know it's a PDF form if you can type on the PDF. The next set of activities that we have are the database activities, and we've included four easy to configure activities to manage your database. The first one is the query data, which allows you to use one value uh, to look up into an external source and retrieve the information from that database. The second activity is the insert data that allows you to retrieve the information from LaserFish and add a new row to your existing database. The update data allows you to retrieve the LaserFish fields and information and update a currently existing row on your database. And the last one, the custom query, allows you to create a connection and write your own query uh, to that database. All of these database activities can function and can connect with any ODBC compliant source. Now let's take a look at a quick demonstration uh, with the open enrollment forms. Uh, every year, Human Resources has to update their benefits information for all of the employees. And each employee is required to fill out a form to determine whether or not they want to keep their current uh, medical and dental benefits or if they would like to change it uh, to something else. Now, a lot of times, Human Resources spends a lot of time and energy sending out these forms to every single employee, making sure that they, re they receive the forms for all of the employee, and all of the information on the forms is accurate. Now, Workflow can make their lives a whole lot easier by using these new PDF activities and database activities, as we'll see in just a moment. As I log into LaserFish, I'm going to log in as, the, as Reader Resources, who is our Human Resources Manager. Now, a lot of our uh, forms are already in PDF format. And so as I open my Open Enrollment Form from the year of 2012, I can see that uh, we already have this PDF form that all of the employees are required to fill out. Now, we want Workflow to automatically retrieve the information from the, uh, our human resources database and fill it out on the PDF form and also email it out to the particular employee. We also want to set up email notifications in case they don't submit the form as it's getting closer to the deadline. And we want to make sure that the information that we're receiving is accurate. For example, we want to make sure that our signature box is checked, otherwise we cannot process our form correctly. Now, as we already have this form inside of LaserFish, all the human resources uh, manager has to do is click on a start HR open enrollment workflow tag. This will initiate the workflow and will begin uh, retrieving the information from our database and sending it out to every single employee. Our human resources database looks just like this and we have several employees here and it's going to determine which employees are eligible by the status which is found over here and if it says employee then it's going to fill out a PDF form and email it out. We also have several information here such as where the medical, dental, and visual uh, plan they currently have. Now as workflow is uh, filling out these forms it's also going to email it out to every single employee and within the email we can customize it to be very personalized. We can grab the first letter, uh, excuse me, the first name uh, and uh, include it here 
We also include the PDF form attached to the email so they can submit it. And within the email, we also have a deadline activity, which is two weeks from today. As I open my PDF, I can see that this PDF has been filled out thanks to workflow. And uh, the real benefit for this is that not only is this information remain consistent, uh, but also I can see my current medical, dental, and vision plan. As I scroll down, I can make sure that uh, I can check whether or not I want to make changes or not. And if I want to make no changes, then I can go ahead and check this box and proceed to section four. If I wanted to add dependents, I can do so down here. And also if I want to change my medical plan from PPO to HMO, for example, then I can do so right here as well. We're going to be processing a few of these PDF applications. So in this case, we'll just say we're not making any changes. We're going to check the signature box and fill out today's date. We also have a submit to LazyFish button that allows us to send this document to LazyFish for further processing with workflow. Now, as you can see here, uh, we're using one email account to send all of the uh, PDFs to this one account so we can continue to process them. Right? So let's open another uh, PDF form, and this one's for Athena. Now, Athena is going to say she wants to change uh, her uh, current medical plan, and it's going to go from uh, HMO to a PPO. So we're going to go down there, make sure we check HMO. And we're going to change that HMO to a PPO. Scroll down, sign our document, put in today's date, and submit to LazyFish once again. Now let's try to do one last one. And let's look at Dionysus. And let's say Dionysus has, been, has had a very busy day. Just briefly opened this, uh, this open enrollment form. Ch saw that you know everything's just like you wanted to. Selected, I'm making no changes. Scroll down to the bottom and submit it to LaserFish. But he forgot to check that signature box. Well, there are several methods that we can include within Workflow to have uh, conditions so that if the signatures or several fields are not uh, included, then we can send it back to that employee so that they can uh, fill out the information correctly and resubmit the form. And this is all done without the intervention of human resources and having to check these forms. So as Zeus and Athena have submitted their forms, then we can see here that the human resources uh, employee has received an email notification with that information. Um, we also note within the email that we've automatically updated the HR database for them, and uh, that's a very nice benefit. Now for Dionysus, they forgot to check that signature box, and so they get another email uh, saying that uh, they forgot to check that signature box, and we cannot process the form correctly until it is checked. So we also include the PDF uh, attached once again so that Dionysus can uh, still maintain all the changes that he made on the form, but just go back and change the medical plan. Or excuse me, not the medical, but check the, uh, the signature box and type today's date. And then we can resubmit to LaserFish where that information will now be uh, stored. Right? Now, if I go back to my LaserFish uh, client, then under the employee files, I'm going to have the open enrollment form uh, for Athena and Zeus and Dionysus in just a moment as it gets imported uh, inside of uh, the LazyFish uh, system right? will remain secure. And you'll notice that it's also a shortcut because we're storing the actual PDF form inside of a records folder where there will be a retention schedule applied to it. Now if I go back to my personal database, if you remember we had uh, Zeus that made no changes and Athena that actually wanted to change her medical plan from HMO to PPO. And we can see that Workflow has automatically retrieved that information and updated the database for Athena. And so this is just a brief demonstration of the, um, the type of activities that we have with Workflow 8.3 and really just the power of these activities and, uh, and we call them enterprise workflow activities because essentially it just affects your entire organization and it's a benefit for the entire enterprise. 
Now, if you have any more questions, feel free to visit uh, lazyfish.com or support that lazyfish.com to read more white papers and watch some more videos and uh, get some more information regarding all of the new features with Workflow 8.3. Thank you for watching this video and your time, and I hope you've, uh, you were able to learn a lot about the new activities with uh, Workflow 8.3.